Okay, so we want to apply some textures here in Random Man, but first we need some textures. So let's see here. I have made here in Mori just a, uh, a bunch of textures. So this is going to be the diffuse component. And then I made here a, a mask here that's going to consist of red. It's going to be displacement, green, that's going to be the bump and blue is going to be the roughness. So that's a like a compound uh, texture. And I also baked them out here as individual textures. So you can see how we can use the different textures. So let's jump into Maya now. Okay, so back here in Maya and Random Man. So I set up a viewer here and a IPR window. So I'm going to re render over here. So I have a Pixar surface shader here. I want to add a Pixar texture so we can either just hit tab and, s and say PXR T and texture. Or we can actually go into uh, this tab here and say render man and texture. So this is the texture read node in uh, Render Man. So we have here, we can browse for a texture. We have Atlas style. I'm gonna use the Mari one because I have Mari UDIMS filtering. I'm, I'm gonna leave that. So missing color, for example, if you have a missing texture, this is gonna be the color that's gonna be uh, rendered. So it's gonna tell you with this color that yeah, something is wrong. Missing alpha. You can linearize your textures. So I have already linearized. So if, you would linearize if you would have like a texture that's an sRGB image and you want to uh, get it into linear space, then you linearize it here. A manifold, that's if you want to repeat the texture in ma with the tileables, for example, if you have like a square image that you want to repeat across the surface, you would need a manifold to do that. Uh, but right now we want to add a texture from Mori. So here on the file name, for example, if I go here and browse to a place and in my case here, I have this location here from Mari and as you see here, I already have TEX files. So we're going to step back now and talk about TEX and that's something Renderman needs TEX files to render and TEX files is a optimized uh, texture format that Renderman use and I guess it has MIP maps and it's optimized for rendering in general in Renderman. To produce these TEX files you have this T TX button here. So if I press this one you can uh, pick a directory, you can parse your scene and we can pick specific images. In my case here you can see that I have all of these green uh, ticks here. So I, I picked my directory. I uh, took this from a more directory here and I clear all cache and it starts to uh, generate TEX files throughout the this directory. So that's already taken care of. And uh, let's now just pick here, for example, my color here. So I want my call TX here. I browse for the first one, the 1001. If we look here at my uh, line here, this is the directory. And you see call uh, underscore map ID underscore and the file there. So the map ID that you see here is going to take this one. So you dim here. That's going to take care of the numbering and everything here. Um, so that's the way we can set up. So I hit the three button here and result RGB into diffuse color. Hit IPR here and see what happens. And there we see my texture here on to the model. So let's zoom in here and see. And let's actually set the if I hit the end button here, I should have denoising on here so we can start to tumble around here to see if you see the first pass here with denoising, it looks kind of smoothed out. But that, that's just because there's so much noise here in the first pass a little there. Huh? So now we have, we have uh, the diffuse there going so we can hook up a bump for example. So let's say PXR bump. There we go. So this node, uh, you can either have a texture node, pipe, uh, pipe it in here to the input, but it also actually acts as a texture read node by itself, uh, the bump. And as you see now, we have this Atlas style going here as well. So we're gonna set this to Mari. 
and let's pipe this actually from result normal into the bump and then we should have bump here starting to happen here onto my object might be a bit too strong here so let's see we can set the scale here 0.1 or something so there we go okay so here's a, uh, a tree here what I have set up um, a few more textures so this one is the color this one is the, the roughness the bump and I actually hooked up a displacement here as well so and displacement here it's gonna go back to a displacement in another chapter so this is gonna be a quick rundown so what it is it's a, a texture read node that it goes into a transform node so this one levels uh, or tells the displacement uh, in what range it is gonna go in more into in depth into this later on a bump here as previous and here's here's actually a render here you can see I have a displacement added and bump and uh, specular roughness and everything in tandem. So yeah, that's a few of the textures I exported from Mori. In an upcoming episode, I will dive into uh, the, the P-Text format. So that's another way to use textures in Renderman. And also in Mori, we can texture using P-Text. And P-Text is for you who don't know, uh, you can actually paint on a surface without UV. So you actually paint on the faces rather than the UVs. But yeah, that's in upcoming chapters. So the P-Tex first and uh, later on it's going to be displacement before we head into my look of the Gatling gun. Yeah, see you on the channel. Bye bye.